So I've got both sides cleaned up. As you can see, there's a little bit of exposed lamination underneath on this side um, in a couple patches uh, right there and also right there. This other side, yeah, you can clearly see the lamination. Now, I don't think you're supposed to see that, but like I said, I'm not a professional. So, now what we do is we roll out our seam tape and we get just enough to cover it up. And it's a hot day, so the glue is already kind of sticky. Now you want to position this to where this seam tape has two black lines in the middle, a black line on the outside, on both sides. And basically you want to line your seam up to be in between the black line. Now you see there's quite a bit of a gap here so what I'm hoping to do is use my power stretcher and pull the carpet over here seam this, let it cool down and then move on to the other seams that I had prepared earlier so as you can see over here I've got a little bit of a gap and then the carpet's rolled up already so Now I'm going to demonstrate the power stretcher. Now this particular power stretcher is the Roberts Power Lock and it comes with multiple bars but it also comes with a short bar. and a swivel head. So I've already got this side tacked in. Now I'm going to stretch it. Now this also has a lock feature so it ratchets down as you can hear. So I'm going to apply pressure and boom it locks in place. And now that gap's a little tighter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my carpet kicker, my mallet, and my stair tool and basically pull it that way but grab it on the edge of where the tack strips are. Now this may not be the smartest idea getting these sides kicked in first but as I showed you this area right there needed to be tightened up so now over here where kicker is. So I'm going to use my little tool here and tap that into place. Make sure it's seated all the way down. Now if you couldn't see it before, now it's a nice close and that's a a little bit of a gap in between the, the floor, so it's not really anything I can do about it. Carpet's already in there. It would only need to be a little longer. So that is stretching a little short guy 
and then you depress the lock and see how it doesn't fly up it also stays locked so you push it down and then it comes right up so that was a small demonstration of just the wall bumper and the power stretcher and as you can see it's probably four feet and it also gets shorter for closets and small walkways so